Hi Floss Tube. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt, NBC Stitcher. Um, you can see my Corgi here. Uh, he's in my lap because I'm sitting in the chair that lets him look outside uh, into our backyard. Uh, and he wants to keep an eye on everything apparently. So he often, it seems like whenever I get in this chair, he wants to sit up on top of me to uh, have a better look at what's going on out there. Um, anyway, so today is uh, Sunday, July 16th, no, August 16th, uh, 2020. And um, this is Floss Tube episode number nine. Uh, this is, um, an ep this is a channel about cross stitch, um, some other art stuff and kind of me and uh, books and stuff that I like and other kind of stuff. So, but this is a floss tube, so I'm mostly gonna be talking about stitching, um, cross stitch. I have some finishes, some whips, a new start, and some haul and some plans related to that. Uh, so yeah, so I am um, getting ready to get everything started. And um, he may stay here, he may move. Uh, it's kind of, uh, he's a corgi. He's not a small dog, but um, he does um, like to be, <laughs> he likes to be where he wants to be. So we'll see. Um, alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, the first thing I want to show, this is my um, Pain Free Crafts Sal. This is the Alphabet Sal that they are doing this year, 2020. And um, this is uh, based on the art of Stanley Morrison. And uh, each letter is, uh, there's each letter of the alphabet and it's a mythical or fantasy creature for each letter. Um, and it's all year round. Uh, each letter comes out every two weeks. The Q just came out. So um, I have, I last time I, had started H. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I am. Okay, um, I had started H and uh, then I was able to finish, plow through that. That took a while though. That took several weeks to do. Um, it's a lot of colors. It's a lot of fractionals. There's just, there's a lot to H. So H is for hippocampus, which is a type of water horse um, from ancient Greek mythology, I believe. And then um, I is for Imp, and I started and finished him last week. I also did J for Jackalope. Um, and then I got a start on K is for Kraken into this last week. Um, and so I had, my goal is to get one letter done every week to catch back up to where the Sal is. And so I will be done by the end of the year. Um, I, when I get through this row, this is the halfway mark, and so I will, um, then I've got, you know, two more full rows of five, and then a row of three, and then the two bottom squares. So, I've been kind of doing the border as I go. Um, I did, I've got both the corners up here completely filled in, um, and then I've been taking the border down on each side. But when I'm working on Kraken and the way I'm using an 11 by 11 Q snap. So, okay, that was too much for him. Uh, so I'm using an 11 by 11 Q snap. And so when I work on cracking, I don't really get the border in the size uh, of my Q snap. So I won't be working on the border this week, um, but I'm gonna get back to this and get K done and then, uh, L is Leviathan, which is a giant snake uh, with another ship in it. So Kraken, the part that I have finished, this is, it's a squid. Um, and we've got, it's got, it's like tearing a ship apart. Um, and so this is part of the front part of a ship. Um, and then some tentacles around it and everything. So uh, this is definitely one where you, the back stitching brings out the design a lot um, and but the back stitch is pretty easy to follow uh, at least I found it pretty easy to follow it, it is like each pattern you get a full pattern that's or a full like sheet that's just the cross stitching and then a second sheet that has the 
you know, where the back stitches go. And I find that to be most helpful when doing things with back stitch on it. Um, Cause I've done like, like the dimensions kits that don't, aren't like that, that it's just all on one. That can sometimes be hard to see what it is to figure it out, so. Um, but it's been pretty good. Um, I've been happy with this. These are, for the most part, unless it's another hippocampus, which is a big letter and lots of colors, these are pretty easy to get through in a week and then do other stuff as well. So, um, the next thing I have, so I, that was two finishes and a new, well, three starts and a finish. Three finishes and three starts. Um, and then the next finish I have is another stitch along, which is Hello Pumpkin by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, this, I did not start when it was a stitch along, but I saw, I got into um, floss tube, watching floss tube and everything about a year ago, maybe now, um, maybe a little bit more than a year now. Uh, but I remember seeing a bunch of people working on this um, when it was being finished and kind of, and then seeing some people finish it up into this year, like Erin to Martini Stitcher when she was working on it and Julie, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World when she was doing it. So um, I really, I like owls and I will talk about that in a minute as well. But, and foxes are two of my favorite animals. So, um, and that hedgehog's not too bad either. Uh, but this is a pretty good pattern. That I really enjoyed this for a number of reasons. But I liked having something little that I could kind of set a little goal of, okay, get one, if I could stitch on this and get one thing done or get two leaves done or something like that, it seemed like I was getting progress. Um, it was slow but because there's a lot to it and it's not, definitely not a tiny piece, but um, I did, um, you know, go for it. And so this is on, I didn't say what the fabric was for my pain-free crafts. Sorry. Um, the, uh, that, the, that is a 32 count white Joblin and this is an 18 count Ada, which is hand dyed by Be Stitch Me. And this is Nova. Um, I think this was fabric of the month when I got it, maybe February? I don't remember. But, um, I or I got it in Friday Night Fight Night, I don't remember which one. But um, I did use the called for DMC. Uh, the one thing I added was some back stitching around this light teal, because uh, it kind of blended into the fabric. That is also the color for the grass down here. Uh, I, this was one of the last things that I worked on, um, and I decided, initially I wasn't even going to do the grass when I was getting down to it. I was like, you're not going to see it, I'm not going to do it, I'll just do the tufts here and that'll be good. And then I thought, no, maybe I'll just do a half stitch. So that's what I did. I half stitched the grass in down here. It gives it some, but it definitely blends in, but that's fine because really the purpose of it down there is to kind of give you an idea of what the tree is around and all that and I think it still does that even if you don't have a definite border so um, I have got this done I'm thinking I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish it uh, or how it will be finished because I don't know that it will be me um, I think I want to do it in a pillow like a, 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 a um, like a couch pillow or I don't know like that you would put on a chair or something like that like a big pillow like Kansas City Julie did it that way um, similar to that maybe uh, so I'm not sure though I I think that's what I'm gonna do but I have no idea um, and I doubt I will be doing it um, I may get some help from my mom because she has a sewing machine and knows how to use it so um, anyway so that is my second finish um, this is, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, or sorry, not my second finish, but my, um, fourth finish for the video and last. Okay. So now let's go into new starts. So this Thursday, August 13th, I started a new owl pattern, um, Becca Sambri Stitches and I are doing a 
new hashtag um, called an owl themed hashtag which is called I'll be stitching Sal and it is kind of in the vein of like uh, Christian from Married with Stitches is Squirrel Sal uh, of you know stitch on something with a squirrel or in this case stitch on something with an owl so any t you can feel free to join along um, if you're stitching on something that has an owl in it add that hashtag if you're gonna post it on Instagram um, you know so uh, the idea kind of being that we both like owls and we wanted to see what other owl patterns are out there and everything so um, so we can kind of uh, feed the enabling of everybody of, that likes owls and can find more owl patterns that kind of thing so um, I the pattern that I started is a forest owl um, the designer is stitchy little fox on Instagram no um, Etsy which she's also on Instagram but um, the um, so kind of the idea of doing this Sal came about because Becca did a similar the same kind of pattern but as a Bigfoot or Sasquatch um, is the but it's still a forest type of effect to it so here this is the owl forest the forest owl pattern um, so it's a silhouette of an owl and then you've got a forest scene um, that you see through you know in the picture so she has several of those lots of different animals some of the same animal but different color variations um, this is kind of a dark blue midnight to like light blue but not really it's more dark than really blue it is blue but like there are some others that she has of different animals that have like a lighter blue scheme to them and this is kind of on the darker side um, and uh, she's got lots of different animals well Becca did the Sasquatch one and I tagged or posted on her um, I commented on her post on Instagram and that I had a similar, you know, I had several of those patterns. I had the owl one and she also had the owl one. And so um, we were talking about that and it came up to do something like this. She is doing a diff, she started a different owl pattern for the start of the sal, but she is going, um, so she started a Plum Street sampler, um, fall owl, well, this owl's not in the name, but there's a owl in the, um, the scene and it's really pretty uh, it has really beautiful leaves like fall leaves on it um, but anyway okay so this is how far I got um, so this is kind of like that middle tree um, I did a center start the top of the owl's head is like up here and then wing wing tail claw kind of idea um, and so I did I started with this dark navy and kind of built the base of that tree and then did a little bit of another color because I wanted something a little different um, this is also on an 18 count Ada from Be Stitch Me this is it didn't have a name this was a pretty old one this is one of the first ones that I got from her I used it for a Christmas gift of somebody else last year and well, oh, sorry about that I uh snagged the cord there so you see my house uh, or my my living room because um, I probably won't edit this out because that would require me to actually get into the editing and I don't really like doing that um, so right so I did a gift for a co-worker of mine last year and used this um, and let me find oh right there okay so it was Hunter Forest, Hunter slash Forest Mermaid Green was the name on here, but it's not a name of like that she constantly dies. I don't think it's quite Tree Hugger. It seems a little bit more like um, like a spruce than Tree Hugger is. But I don't I don't have Tree Hugger on Ada, so this may be closer to Tree Hugger. I'm not sure. Um, but and this was from back. I mean, Brandy was on. Uh, Etsy back then so it's been a while um, and I so I don't know if you could if she could just recreate it um, she might have an idea of what this was 
Uh, but yeah. Anyway, um, so this is my start. I don't know why I did that. Uh, and um, yeah, so I got a good chunk on this, and then I'm going to keep going on it, and um, I'll probably keep working on the for the most part, keep working on the navy to build out that center tree and then kind of go out from there. Um, Cause there's like big chunks of color and then some inter, some little spots of different colors in the way the pattern is. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, I'll show you, here's the colors on it. So you've got, you've got a wide range, but like I said, there's kind of some darker blues. Um, and I think this, pattern will work well with it and it'll you know bounce off that green um, and you'll get a good effect or at least I hope so um, alrighty so that was my new start um, I do have a couple other owl patterns um, that I'm going to be working on after this one I think um, so we're not there's not like a time frame of like you need to finish it or we've not said anything like that it's just kind of like stitch a stitch an owl pattern and then you know, we'll see, because we want to see the other things that everybody else is working on. So um, join along with us. If you have something that's got an owl in it, tag it. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so my whips. Well, let's go with this one first. So this is Ink Circles Elemental Dragons Earth, uh, which is the first of at least four dragons. I think it's four total, but fire is either just out or will be out soon. Um, and then water and air are already out and I have those. Um, so I am doing this on a 40 count Verdal even weave, um, which is in the colorway Earth by Be Stitch Me. Um, and then I am using this Weeks Dye Works Foliage is the name of the thread, and I'm doing one thread over two on this 40 count. So um, it's a nice green to brown. Um, uh, to me, when I think of like an earth dragon or an earth kind of that kind of aspect, that's the kind of colors that I was getting. So I wanted to do that. Also, the fabric is called Earth. It's also one of my favorite fabrics by her. It has like a teal and then like a pink brown like um like terracotta kind of color to it as well so um it's pretty um subtle the modeling or the mixing of the two it's not a heavy uh modeling effect on it so um that is that one um and i got a good i, I just i stitched a couple links on there i didn't get a whole lot of progress on it um and okay next up is welcome to naboo this is by country magic stitch on etsy and it is a full coverage vintage poster type of um vintage travel poster kind of pattern uh it is like i said full coverage uh and I'm doing it on 18 count plain white Ada that I got from Michaels in like the big tube type of thing. Uh, and here's where I am. Um, so I did get a good amount of progress. I got some more of this blue on here and down here and the clouds in as well as some of this tower stuff in these. Um, this is a nice one for when I just want to stitch something easy and can just do blocks of color because it's a lot easier to do that um, and like I know there's no clouds or anything else up here I can just fill this in um, or I can just there's no clouds I think up until here so if I want to just fill something in I can get that blue out and just you know do some more so um, I have done one others of these which was a uh, Hoth welcome to Hoth or visit Hoth. This is welcome to Naboo. Um, visit Hoth, uh, and so on the same kind of fabric and um, everything. So I will be probably finishing this like that one, and then using it in the same kind of area of my house. Um, so yeah, and 
Let's see. Okay. Um, all right. So I did, um, I also worked on, oh, all right. this is not in color, but it will give you an idea of what this is. So this project is Winter Deer by Stitrovia. And it is a beautiful Scandinavian um, folk art kind of look to it. Uh, this is, I did this as part of my second half of doing Christmas in July stuff. So I, um, I think I showed this the last time, but I did some more of this tree on this side, the trunk, I think, and then filled in more of the mountain. Um, but this is a, um, this is on 18 count Ada. Uh, it's a gray. There wasn't a name to it. I think it's close to Artemis uh, of what Brandy dyes regularly, but I don't know. Um, it is kind of bluish, um, but it's a nice light blue gray color to it. I think it really works for this pattern. Um, yeah, I'm doing it two strands over one on 18 count. And then this is my little Fox needle minder that I got from Space Cat Crafting. Um, and yeah, so that's what I, how far I got on this one. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of like additional stuff for Jolly July or Christmas in July or anything. I just worked on a couple, I started one pattern uh, the first half and then I worked on this the the other half and then I've been working on my letters Sal and um, some other stuff uh, I didn't get out Hello Pumpkin until this month so um, until August so. okay and then this one I just worked on yesterday and today um, this is Lady Cat which is from Nora Corbett this is one of the orchid party ladies um and so i started this as part of my mania starts this year and i did some more work on her um wing this stuff out here pretty much um the purple stuff i had done before there's a little bit of this dark pink that i added in um but then i got out the green and started working on the wing and did a lot of that um, so yeah, this is on a 32 count Lugana um, from Be Stitch Me uh, in the Gaia colorway, which is a very subtle um, pink, blue, green uh, mixture uh, that kind of spans all across it. I think it gives a good like colored, I think I've called it this before, but like it's like a col it's a non-neutral neutral so like it's a light color so you have a color to it but it's not very like overpowering as like a bright color so you can put a lot of colors on it and it has a lot of mixture to it um, and now I have on I have two pieces on this that's the start of another Nora Corbett lady that is you can see over here that is Miss Ginkgo um, and she is, I haven't worked on her yet, uh, again, recently, but, um, a big, you know, a quarter, uh, fat quarter, I can fit two of them on here cause I can, she'll fit up and down and then I've got the whole other side. Um, so you, you know, pay attention to your size, but you can definitely fit a couple of these pretty girls on, um, that. Now I haven't started doing her skin. I'm thinking... I may keep it this the charted or I may find something else to do it in um, there's another one that is like it's the Imperial Lady D and I think that one would look really great with a darker skin um, the she, she lady cat probably would too but I think I've got a couple others that I'm gonna be doing something more with that um, but I'm not doing her skin yet in case I want to change my mind because um, that I mean I can always add that in later um, but yeah, um, so this is where I'm at on this one, um, and 
yeah, so I, I did a whole bunch of this pretty much this last um, yesterday and today, uh, last night and today, um, got a good chunk of that wing out there. Um, and yeah, it's, I'm really enjoying these and I like stitching on them. So I am definitely going to try and keep pulling them out to do more of this and um, uh, Lady Justice. Sorry, my dog is laying on top of his bed with all of his, like he has a little bed in here um, with a bunch of toys in it and he's just laying on top of it. Um, he doesn't normally do that, so I don't know what he's trying to say there. Um, like he hasn't moved the toys out, he's just like plopped down on top of it. Cause it's like when I'm cleaning up or the I'm you know vacuuming or something, I just throw all his dog toys into there. But yeah, he's just laying on top of it. So anyway, um, it's Lady Cat, and that is the last of my whips. So, um, let's talk about haul. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of things since the last time I did a video. So, uh, and I've got a couple more things coming. So, they're definitely, this is, um, I'm definitely not doing the, like, no starts in 2021. Um, that's not something I'm interested in doing, but I am interested probably in looking into doing something like Stitch from Stash or something where I'm like, I will start stuff, but I don't necessarily want to keep buying as much or I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of building up my stash. Um, you know, uh, I, this is still a relatively new, I mean, I've been cross stitching. I've cross stitched since I was a kid but to this level and everything is still within the last two years and I feel like I'm just building up my stash and everything now and so um, I'm not, I don't know, I just, I feel a little like, oh, that's a lot, oh yeah. And then sometimes you buy something and it takes a lot longer to get here, um, especially like when you get something from overseas, that can take a while and then, so I, I have a big stack of stuff. Anyway, um, Okay, so first of all, I am gonna go in kind of reverse order. So the most recent thing I got, um, I ordered from um, Cross Stitch Boutique. I had ordered from her before. She did a um, discount if you ordered the new Mirabilia, uh, which I have here, because I was gonna talk about this. Um, sorry. No. Uh, the Miss Dancing Flower here. So I ordered that from her and the embellishment pack and the silk that it called for. Um, and that was kind of the first time I'd ever ordered from her. But I saw an ad or something or a post from somebody about her on Instagram and that she was doing a discount code for the pre-order for that. And so I did that. I jumped on that because um, if you give me a deal off, then usually I that's something I gets my attention at least. So um, and then when she when I got my stuff that from her, um, she had a like a a discount code to come back to shop from her. So again, I went back and I found some more things. Um, so I ordered several or ordered some beads that I didn't keep in here. Um, but they kind of go with these. So I ordered the two new orchid ladies from um, Nora Corbett. This is Green Lady Slipper. And um, then I also ordered Lady Orchid Moth. And so both of these had some beads that they called for and I got those. Um, and yeah, uh, and then I didn't order the floss because I didn't need that. Um, but yeah, the uh, I went ahead and got those because I like, I'm liking some of the, I haven't or gotten all of the Orchid Ladies, but there's quite a few of the Pixies or different things from Nora Corbett that I find that I would like to stitch someday. So I've picked up some more of those. Um, I also picked up two of the uh, Bella Filipina patterns. Um, and these, 
So I got queen, no, sorry. Yeah, queen, sorry. And this is probably the first one that I'm going to do, um, but it is just gorgeous. It's big, she's big, she's um, 171 by 391. So that's a pretty tall lady. Um, and it should fit on a fat quarter. I'll have to check. Um, especially, well, yeah, anyway. Um, but she is beautiful. She is also not super, I mean, she has, she doesn't look like just another pretty woman, a Caucasian woman. So she, I, I really was interested in doing something that wasn't that. So this was one of the ones that I got um, because of that. And then I also got uh, Gaia, the Earth Goddess, which is another one that I, uh, well, she is just, a, she is a pretty white lady, but, um, or at least the way she's done here. Uh, I saw Kenny Stitches started her as part of Mania. That's really tiny. Um, sorry, I'm kind of away from my phone, sitting back in my chair. Uh, but I saw Kenny Stitches starting her and some pictures of her on Instagram and that was a lot, um, she's a lot better looking and when she's actually being stitched up than just the, like the rendered design, uh, image on the front of the pattern. Um, the other thing that I thought was really cool is these patterns are, um, so they're, they're on regular like nine, seven and a half by 11. Um, paper um, folded in half and inside here and so for someone like me that likes to work off of a digital pattern it's a lot easier to scan that than or copy it if you're making a working copy than a giant fold out thing that you know from a mirabilia or something like that um, I also do like on the uh, Nora Corbett's the newer ones that it is I'm not going to show the pattern but essentially the pattern is like this on the inside you can't see it um, but um, you know it's one page the, this is also something that I can easily get copied or scanned and versus like a big thing that you know is a little bit more unwieldy so um, I got two of those I have no idea when I'm gonna start these um, I have maybe an idea of a pat of a fabric for Queen Sari but I'm not sure um, and I think I'll start that one first just because I, I really like her um, and then another pattern that I probably won't start anytime soon I ordered from um, fire poppies uh, I got a big cut of uh, country vintage country mocha uh, from Zweigart um, to do my pandemic uh, from long dog samplers I got that because I didn't want to go with a, it, you need like a half yard, um, de likely depending on what count you're using, and I wanted to do with 32. Um, so that was where I went with it. So yeah, it, it's a, it was easier to do that, and I could, I ordered it from them, um, and I threw in some DMC for another pattern that I was looking for, I needed to finish kidding up and um or a couple patterns and then i also got uh, a mirabilia that was on my list of i wanted to pick this up at some point this is lady hera and this is from back when did she do this one does it say i don't see the year but anyway um yeah, so I like, well, I love the, I love peacocks as well. I've stitched a couple and wanted to stitch more. Um, and so this is a really beautiful peacock in it. Um, I like the Greek and Roman myths. Uh, Hera is not my favorite goddess. Um, I don't know that she's anybody's. Uh, she might be. Um, but, she, you know, so the story of the peacock um, I probably should have looked this up before I started telling this, but um, my memory of it is that Hera used to have a dog named Argo, and that may be wrong, but 
that had a thousand eyes and one of the Greek heroes killed the dog. It may have been Hercules. I don't remember. Um, but she immortalized her dog Argo with um, into the peacock, the feathers of the peacock. So that's why like peacocks have, or that's the explanation of why peacocks have all these eyes in their tail is that Hera, you know, um, immortalized her dog uh, into the peacock. Uh, and so that's why they are. Um, I mean, if you've read a lot of the myths or the stories, uh, you know, Hera was not the nicest of goddesses but she had a husband that was fooling around on her a lot and so it's understandable that she's not happy about that um and often the people that she took it out on are the children of her husband's ill adventures um and so yeah anyway um but i really liked this pattern um especially the peacock uh and hair is pretty in this as well so i think that would be something to do someday um Okay, and then I got some, um, before I was settled on starting the Forest Owl, I was thinking about another one that I had been looking at and wanted to get uh, at some point, and this is by Ink Circles. This is Athena Noctua, uh, which is um, Athena Owl or Little Owl, uh, and this is, uh, from Ink Circles by uh, Tracy Horner, is the designer, um, and this is this is from 2018, so it's a couple years old. Uh, but I really like this. It to me, it kind of reminds me of like an old like stamp, but with a little boobo um, owl on it, um, which was the owl in Clash of the Titans, I think. Uh, although it was silver, but um, I picked this up. Uh, and I ordered the fancy floss that went with it. It's charted in some Gast and some DMC, and I didn't, I've never had any, I've never used Gast or bought it before, so I had to get those. Um, there's one which is pomegranate, which I couldn't get, but it's got, um, let's see, this is the forest, or sorry, forest glade and gold leaf are the two that I got. And then there's my DMC as well. Um, I did get the DMC alternative for pomegranate, um, but I don't know when I'll start it. And so I'm going to keep trying to get pomegranate if I think about it when I'm ordering from somebody else. Um, oh, and I got Vintage Country Mocha as well for this. Um, I think that'll be a good, um, you know, a nice piece of that. So I bought this from... Uh, one two three stitch uh, and gonna do that at some point but it's not it's not I may wait until I finish the other owl or I may start it at some point I don't know but yeah um, okay another thing that I got from one two three stitch I ordered some more uh, thread works some different colors um, just a couple different ones some different you know there's a lot of different variegated floss you can get from Threadworks and so this is 10 261 which is a blue and red purple um, and then I got 1138 which is a blue green and purple like a teal green and purple uh, and then 10 383 which is a blue to purple like a light blue to purple kind of color um, I got an 1107, which is a yellow, uh, red, and orange. Uh, I got an 11, I got 1134, which is kind of like a pastel pink, no, more like purple, yellow, and green, kind of, um, it's very Eastery to me, uh, at least that's the vibe I get from it, um, pastel muted color and then I got 1088 which is a purple and red variegated floss um, so I'm interested I have signed up for the nest egg uh, I signed up right before she closed it um, 
for the for Threadworks, and um, these are all the twenty yards gains, so they're pretty big. Um, but I, I think I've used Threadworks in a few things, and I enjoy stitching with it. And you, there's a wide range of colors and a lot of variegation to it, and I thought that would be an interesting thing. I know it's not charted so much; things aren't charted in it, but it would be a nice. Is something I wanted to build up a stash of because it's, I think it would be nice to have some of those kinds of variegated floss that I can throw into something when I want to. Um, so I picked those up. Um, I did, and that's the, the, the nest egg that I got is that same kind of, is the uh, thread works and it, I got the 20 yards gain. So I will be getting more. I probably, I may get some that I already have, but I will get more um you know go from there um okay the next person that i got stuff from and this was a while ago that i ordered this uh but i got from mrs sadis some silk um so i got some of the little mini skeins and then i got a couple hanks just two hanks um but these uh, I wanted to get a couple to see what they kind of look like in person um, and to have some more little bits of silk to use. Um, so this is Mojito. This is actually one that she threw in. I didn't order it, but um, it's really pretty. So it's nice green and yellow. Uh, this is Supernova, which is kind of like that other orange and yellow thread works that I was talking about. And then this is Rogue, which is a deep maroon it does have variegation to it but it's really kind of hard to see um but it's it's gorgeous uh and then this is darling which is this nice blue teal variegation uh and then i got peacock which is more teal uh peacock color um and okay so then i got oxide which this is one of the hanks that i got this color is I think it's just gorgeous. Um, it's, you know, yellow, gold to like a blue navy um, and in between some like greenish, different uh, kind of different colors to it. It is, I think it's just an amazing color. There's so many different things I think I could do with this. Um, the first thing that came up to my mind, well, the first thing I saw when I, I, have, I had this like favorited on Etsy and I wanted to do it and then she closed her shop down for the, at the start of the pandemic or during the pandemic um, and when Spain was having a lot of um, you know problems and everything cause she's in Spain uh, and I did all that um, and but I was like oh no is she I hope she comes back because I really did want to get that that silk um, and so when she did come back, this was definitely something that's like, I'm going to order and I'm going to order that. Um, to me, it looks like I could do a nice, may sound weird, but like a corgi pattern. Um, it doesn't really match my dog, um, but I think it would give the effect of like a Merle corgi um, look to it. And I think it would be really pretty to do one. Um, like, you know, not the full corgi body, but the, like, the part that is the, like, colored part versus the white part. Um, I think that would look really cute. So, that, there's also this, um, there's that New England reindeer pattern by Liz Matthews. I have it, um, and so I think this would look good as the, like, the reindeer and the brown. Uh, and then do, like, a forest green color. I have a thread where it's not in one of the, in that pile, but I think would look really good for that. Um, so you know just coming up with some different ideas uh and then the other thing that i got was a hank of pride which is her rainbow color um and this is also gorgeous so this is you know uh it's a rainbow um and the color on the screen it is a little bit more vibrant than it is in person. Um, it's still very colorful, but there is, um, and I've had this with like the other silk that I've bought, you know, in person, it kind of has a different, it photographs differently than you see it when you see it in person. Um, and there's nothing, I mean, I think it's still gorgeous and I'm gonna use it for exactly what I was going to use it for. Um, 
but it, it is a little bit, there's a little bit of like a muted more color to it than you see on a screen. And then again, I mean, if people are looking at it through a screen, they're going to see the bright colors anyway. So like I have, I'm doing Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers in a, a Silks for You color that is still beautiful in person, but it does have like a more electric bright blue color to it when it's photographed and put on Instagram than it does when you see it in person. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of, so this I'm going to be using for pandemic. Um, I am not using it for everything, but I'm using it for the borders of the kind of pattern of the different scenes and different stuff to it. And then I'm going to accent with other colors, um, either solids or uh, variegated, variegated floss for like the animals and the different things and the different motifs inside of each kind because there's like panels throughout it and there's like diagonals and stuff that lots of those will all be in the rainbow and the pride um, and then the you know the kind of smaller things to accent it off will be in um, other colors and I'm thinking maybe doing it in thread works some of the different thread works maybe um, or maybe I'll use some, uh, probably I'll use some of the other silks that I got from her, uh, and maybe some just plain DMC, you know, for if there's something that I just want to like make it pop out where it's not variegating, um, and it's just one solid color, I think that would also stand out. Um, and then I'm doing it on Vintage Country Mocha, so I got a big half yard of it and so yeah so I think that'll really pop and then I think it'll look great so I'm excited to see that um I've also seen a lot of people of different things that people are doing for pandemic which oh uh pandemic is by is a long dog samplers piece um she put it out it was free for a week if you downloaded it when she started it um and then now you can buy it on her website um, or I've seen it in, at least on 123 Stitch, I'm sure other shops have it in a physical form that you could buy it from them as well. Um, okay, I'm still not done. Um, <sighs> okay, but we're down to the fabric. Um, so I have my fabric of the month from Fortnite Fabrics. I get the two, I get both the neutral and the color now. Um, and I get it in 32 count even weave, which is the Lugana. Um, and so this is fairy ring. This is the neutral from last month. Um, it's a very subtle modeling to it. It's gorgeous. Um, if you needed something that had kind of like an older antique look to it, this is a great um, choice for that. Uh, they are doing, so they're expecting some delays for their August for some of the counts, including 32 count even weave. And they gave options for if you want to switch to 28 count or it will, or not, it'll be September probably before I get my fabric. I decided to stick with 32 because it's what I like to stitch on. And so I want to stay with it and uh, instead of getting, and I don't mind waiting to get it till next month because Got, I'm not really starting anything anytime soon or not really looking for something to start. Um, anyway, um, so then the color we got is um, Lancaster, I think. Yes, uh, and it's a purple and blue. Uh, nice, beautiful modeling. Um, you could do lots of things. I think I could do a really pretty like space something. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you could do on this. It'd be really pretty. Uh, so yeah, uh, got that. And then um, that is 32 count uh, even weave. Uh, and then, okay, be stitch me. Oh, I forgot these. Um, so when I ordered from Mrs. Sadis, she also sent me two little needle minders with a card, a little sugar skull, and then a star. It may glow in the dark. I haven't checked. Um, 
I mean, that didn't work. Um, so it may just be a clear star, but if it's not, um, they're really um, cute and I like getting little extra things when I order something. So that's really nice to include with those. Um, okay, so Be Stitch Me. Last week was a Friday night fight night. Um, I did not order anything. I forgot to set a timer and then it was couple hours after nine o'clock when I realized it went and looked and there wasn't really anything left that I wanted to get or anything like that but that's good because as you can see I've got plenty of other things and I don't really need to buy it um, and then yeah so I have I probably I know I'm gonna order something else from her in the next two weeks or so um, and so it it doesn't I know that she's getting a lot more popular, a lot more people are talking about her. I mean, Pam and Steph has talked about her. Um, lots of the other people that I watch on FlossTube have talked about her, so she's kind of blowing up and it's getting more popular and it's a lot harder to get something, but that's a good thing for her and I think that's a great thing. So I know everything that I've ordered, she's very great about you know, oh, I want this. Can you or can you custom dye something like this for me? And she will do it. And um, you know, there is a time delay because it's not like going to be shipped out that week. But I've never had anything where I'm like, oh, I need this by this time. Well, I've never told her that. Um, but I've just, I've I've always had great interactions with Brandy, and it's been great. So I'm really happy for her. Um, and I'm not. Anno well, I'm a little annoyed that I can't get uh, everything at Friday Night Fight Night that I would want, but um, so I did participate two weeks ago or three weeks ago when the last one she did before this one, um, and that was, uh, and I got one piece, uh, which is Stellar, and this is a 32 count Lugana. Uh, this is a little bit more navy, but definitely a, uh, you know, a kind of space feel to it um, it's really gorgeous um, you could do a lot of things with it um, and yeah I am looking forward to finding something else to do with this um, I also she does a lot of giveaways and you can enter her giveaways if you either purchase from her in Friday Night Fight Night or if you do um, if you ordered something from her in that week, um, you can enter into her giveaways. And so I did that, um, and she did, uh, with the Stellar, I got, uh, I think I was in that giveaway, and I got a 28 count granite Lugana, which is a nice light brown. That's a pretty good, yeah. So that's pretty good to it, um, you know nice other neutral to get something to have uh, to build up my stash I don't know that I keep needing to do that but I am so anyway uh, and then I ordered some other stuff that I had uh, I asked she had used her website to order some stuff um, and this was uh, Gaia which I use on my on those two fairies Nora Corbett fairies and this is another piece of that. This is 32 count Lugana. So you can see you get, you know, a wide range of different colors to it through the piece. And you can, you know, definitely something that you can do. This is also the same fabric that I'm doing. Um, Princess Eliana, uh, you know, the Mirabilia from beginning of the year. March, March, yeah. They uses all the early, the new one through 35. Um, so I started that, I think that was my birthday start um, in May. And I used that, uh, that one I had to use a full quarter, uh, fat quarter for it, um, but yeah. And then I ordered a piece of honey in 32 count Joblin. Um, I have been stitching on a couple different Joblins from her and I really like it. I don't really have a big preference between the two. Um, I like both Joblin and Lugana, but I've kind of been like, oh, I think I want to try that in Joblin. The other thing, if you order, um, or on her Friday night fight nights, 
the Joblins are bigger. Um, it's a bigger yard, the, or the, the way that the bolt of fabric is made, it is bigger, so when she cuts it into a quarter, it's longer. So this is a 18 by 34, you get a bigger piece. It is a little bit more, um, but you get a little bit extra. So if you're trying to fit something that maybe is a little bit taller, you might be able to do that. Or if you're trying to do more things in a row, um, you could definitely, Joblin may be a good idea if you don't have a preference between the two. So this is a nice neutral honey look to it. Um, well, honey is the color, the name of it. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And this is what I think I might do Queen Sari on. Um, Cause I think the called for is like a, uh, like an off white or a white, it's not white, um, but like a cream or something like that. So I think this might be good. Um, I think I bought this to do Cathedral Woods Goddess, but I'm not necessarily planning to start her anytime soon. And either of them really but so it's kind of a we'll see but um the one other thing that i wanted to show you was uh so the other piece that i got um i got from brandy and i had put this in my directly in the bag um the other thing i ordered was sea glass and this is also a 32 count uh joblin um and i think that this is what I'm going to use for Miss Dancing Petal, uh, the new Geisha Mirabilia pattern. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this. I do have in the bag, I have the Wicked, which was the, the fabric of the month last week, which is a green like this, um, but a little bit darker and it has like a darker navy or purple undertone to it or modeling to it. It's this one. Um, this is a little bit busier, obviously. Um, it doesn't, it's not actually as deep as it's looking here. It's kind of bright, lighter in person. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know. I will wait until I get the floss and everything together. I'm also not planning on starting this anytime soon. So I kind of, if I have a fabric that I'm, I partially kit up some stuff when I do that, I, I, may have one or two in here um, and then of course if, if something else comes along that I oh I want to start that I will cannibalize these other partially kitted stuff to get something up to actually start it um, but I don't know when I'm gonna start it I may I think I'm not going so uh, Erin to Martini Stitcher is starting is starting her first Mirabilia ever in September on the solstice, I think, September 22nd. Maybe that's wrong. Um, September or something, uh, she's planning to start it with another floss tuber uh, that I don't remember who she was talking about. But the, um, so I think I may join in with that. Uh, even if it's not your first Mirabilia, if somebody wants, if anybody is starting new Mirabilias, then you can start with her on that day um and i think i'm gonna do uh miss cherry blossom which is the other geisha that's been out for a little bit longer um i have a beautiful Fortnite fabrics uh, fabric from a couple months ago that i think will look gorgeous it's like an orange and yellow i think it's honeysuckle i think that's the name of it um but i think it'll look great uh, I was getting the rest of the DMC and everything together, and then I think that's the one that I'll get started um, on the, in September. <coughs> oh, Augie. Um, sorry if that, if you have dogs that are in there with you and he uh, set them off, um, he, I think something's, he sees something in the backyard. But anyway, so um, I'm going to try to do a non-floss tube video where I talk about books and some of the stuff that I have read recently and some other of the books that I really enjoy um, that are like in my favorites that I go back to. Um, I think that would be fun. Uh, but as I am stitching and my floss tube portion of my video is almost an hour, 
I would kind of like to separate that out to do a separate thing because I don't want to just like short change it or anything like that. Um, also, if that's not something you're interested in, then you know, you wouldn't have to pay attention. I mean, you can always leave the video anyway, but um, you know, maybe uh, that would be a good idea. So uh, I'm going to try to do that in the next couple of days in the evenings after work maybe um, and get that up uh, and then I'm going to get this up as soon as I can and then we'll go from there. So um, I'm not sure about a group specific schedule. It'll be probably a couple of weeks or three. Um, we'll see. I may. Last time I did this, I did a video on a Friday and that was actually pretty easy to do. So um, I thought about, I, I was gonna do that. I may try to do that the next time. Um, I was really trying to finish Hello Pumpkins because I wanted to get that done and I couldn't get it done Friday night. So um, like, I mean, it was like midnight. And I was like, yeah, well, it's, I'm not gonna film a video now and I'm not going to uh, do that. So um, yeah, so it pushed it and then I wanted to stitch on some other things and, um, and then it ended up being Sunday night. So anyway, um, will you all have a great week or couple weeks or however it is long until you, I see you again. And um, I wanna, oh, um, thank you everybody that has subscribed and commented and um, all of that, I enjoy that. I have been um, really enjoying the interaction with our Owl Be Stitching Sal on um, Instagram and all of that. So join along with us. Um, I am now over 500 subscribers, which is crazy. Uh, cause I'm like, well, that's, that's a lot of people. Um, but I really enjoy, um, all of your comments and everything. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out, um, through that or Instagram. Um, my information will be in the Dropbox below, uh, my Instagram and everything. And, um, all of the information about my whips, um, I put down there and, um, yeah. So, all right, everybody have a good one. Bye.